Lagos residents yesterday recorded another tragedy as a four-year-old girl was swept away, her building collapsed and residents battled every flood after a downpour that lasted for hours submerged many parts of the city. As the downpour took intermittent breaks, it was traffic, snarls and whole major routes of the commercial mega city. While the rain forced some residents to stay indoors, a few others suffered personal tragedies as the downpour and flooding led to destruction of properties, including a building collapse at the Yanokaja area of the state. Some of the worst affected areas include Agege, Leki, Aja, Victoria Island, Ifako, Woro, Ogudu, Ayobon, Bagada, Yanokaja, and Ebutimeta. At Yano Woro, the submerged road caused vehicular traffic stretching all the way back to Alausa, covering over 30 km distance. The flood took over Yanowuru in towards Todd Milan Bridge, leaving many vehicles stuck in the water. On the Korodu Road, vehicles were stuck in a heavy guard block with little or no movement for several hours. The four-year-old girl was swept away by flood at Papa Ashafa area of Agege. The National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, confirmed it was on the search of the child and advised residents of Aburu Yanopaja, Command Otter, Hinogun State through Agbara on the route of the canal before it discharges into the sea to look out for the body. It was clear that the girl Azizat lived with her parents at number 38 Fashola Street off or their body street, Papa Ashafa or really Agege. But when their house was overtaken by flood in an effort to relocate to higher ground with other residents, Azizat mistakenly missed her step into a drainage that was covered with flood and was swept away. Also in the same area, mother and her daughter were injured at number 12 Asan Adejobi Street, Papa Ashafa, or really Agege, as a result of flooding. The flood which collapsed a fence on their building was also responsible for dislodging occupants of a 10 room bungalow domiciled in the same compound. A statement from the emergency agency said 18 households in the compound had been advised to evacuate number 18 railway line Ashade Kota Agege for the safety of their lives as the downpour had weakened the building, though the occupants of the building expressed readiness for evacuation. The Lagos State Police Command spokesman Bala Ekana, who confirmed the incident, said the police were working with emergency agencies in the search effort for the girl. Yesterday's downpour also left many commuters stranded on major highways on their way to their various offices and it left residents with sad stories of wreckage caused by the flood.